All right, this is a little unboxing. There's a couple extra things in here because I wanted to get free shipping plus, you know, new art supplies. <laughs> this is from Let's Make Art. So there's, okay, that. The extra thing was this paint. Oh, and I got this brush, okay. And Murphy's here to help. Um, it's black. I always need black. And it's golden. Looks like it's pretty opaque, so that'll be good. And this is color brush. So this is like the brushes I've been using. But I think that I can put whatever ink I want in it. Or I can use it as a water brush. But I think I can put any ink I want in here, which I really like the idea of that. So... That was a little sale item, so I, if I like it, I might get more, but it's a nice small tip. And this, this is um, the new, I forget what they call it, <laughs> but it's all animal um, watercolor projects. Two, two cats and two dogs. Pals with paws, that's what it's called. It comes with little ink things. That's interesting. So I got little ink pads. That must be the free gift, maybe. Unless, I don't know, maybe you use it for something. There's the paint. Uh, the white stuff is probably um, that P.H. Martin uh, bleed proof white stuff. So let's look at these. I did this a couple months ago with the, it was all flowers. But this one looks so cute, I couldn't resist it. So. Pals with Paws watercolor art box. <clears throat> Comes with a postcard, and I think that's this is the design. <laughs> I can show you. Um, it's a little paw with little flowers in it. I saw that uh, this morning. <laughs> what are you doing? These are the projects. Murphy. There's a little dog, and a cat, and a dog, and a cat. And it comes with the four um, step-by-steps for each one. It comes with, I'm thinking all four of them have a, an outline that you can copy. And then there's a video you can follow, which will show up when I go into my count on Let's Make Art. Um, I'll be able to look at those and I believe probably eight sheets because I think they give you enough to do each one twice so I am planning on doing each one twice just because I have to do it once just to get used to it and the second time I know what to do so I just I'm a little more at ease at doing it so I'm gonna be doing that so um, I will continue with this video when I've got time and when I have a desk that doesn't have a kitty on it Okay, I just kind of look, overlooked, overlooked, looked over the kits and I noticed that they're telling you different ways to do uh, the transfer, so they must not be including the transfer paper anymore, which is fine. I have transfer paper, but there are other ways you can do it, so um, what I thought I would do is, I'll have to shut the light off in a minute. Um, this is a light box. It's not really a box anymore, is it? It's uh, like a panel, a light panel. <laughs> <clears throat> and I kind of think I prefer this because I can use my um, watercolor pencil. So I'm gonna have to shut this light off to do this. So you, 
That's the highest it goes, I guess. Take that one. And yeah, <clears throat> so you can see through it enough to draw the lines that you want to draw. You can also use a window, of course it wouldn't work, it's evening so it wouldn't work that well right now I don't think, but, but I prefer using a watercolor pencil because it, um, the water will make the lines disappear and I don't like to see lines. Some people don't mind them. Ooh, this straight line's not going to be fun. I need a, a ruler to make these lines. All right, this would be my my first attempt. <laughs> the second one, I'll do all the lines with the ruler. All right, I think I'm just going to do these without recording, and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, I uh, also wanted to mention, this is not an empty pen like I thought it was. It's got black ink. <laughs> um, it was hard to figure out what, <laughs> reading the description, what it was. It didn't really, I don't know. It's okay. I mean, I'll use it. I like black ink, and that's a really nice tip, so that'll be good. I just thought it was empty for some reason, but it's not. <laughs> okay, I finished all of the projects. I didn't do, I didn't record me doing them. I didn't think it was, would be all that interesting, <laughs> but I figured the results might be interesting. Um, so I kind of went from what I thought would be easiest to the most difficult, and I was a little surprised um, in some of them. <laughs> so the first one I did was Patient Pal. This was easy because it was a silhouette. Um, so this is my first attempt, and I started by following the video and then kind of following along on um, the instructions because at one, well, I got through most of it. I got through, <laughs> I think I got to the point where she started making the um, lines in the ocean. I went, ah, I can finish the rest. <laughs> I tend to learn, I think, I don't know if I tend to learn, but I tend to do better just looking at a picture and trying to copy it rather than following instructions because I found the instructions not on this one in particular but they seem like they skipped a lot so I think if you're going to do these it's best to watch the video because I'll show you when we get to the cat one I'll show you um but I ended up I, I followed like 75% of it and I just finished it myself um so yeah this one was super easy and I and I, I had fun doing it and the second one I just did with um a little bit um, more vibrant colors. Uh, the only issue that I th found was the lines in the ocean. I, when I did them, it just didn't seem to look realistic. So I, I kept, you know, um, smearing them out because I thought oh, that doesn't look right, but she makes them look right. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that was the easiest one as far as I was concerned. So this is the cat. <laughs> and this one I didn't watch. I didn't watch the videos on any of the other ones. Um, so on this one, I just followed the instructions. So I did the eyes, right? And then I did sort of the brown around the face. And then all of a sudden, the cat's done. <laughs> it, didn't. it went from this to this. And they didn't show any of the fur. So I just went, okay, I'll just look at the picture and work off of that. So like I said, if you wanted to do this project, I would get, watch the video. I just figured, I've painted a lot of cats, so I can probably figure this one out. Um, the only thing is, this first step didn't say, you know, show, uh, be very light around the eyes, because around the cat's eyes is lighter than the rest of it. Well, I didn't realize that until I had already put the brown down. So I had to go back in with um, the Bleed Proof White and it just didn't look right. It, it would have looked more natural had I just left it um, lighter. But I did these, and now you think I'd have learned that when I did the second one, but I did these side by side <laughs> at the same time. I taped them both down and just worked on them at the same time. 
you know, I'd work on this one and then I'd go to this one. So I kind of learned a little bit from these mistakes and went to this. So, I don't know. I, I mean, they're both okay. I didn't mind the way they came out. Um, was that the next one? Yeah. I just, I, I tend to have a harder time with um, doing big splotches of color, like splotches, and then just putting, like, I, I have trouble not being detail-oriented, so, like, just putting splotches and kind of trying to make it, I, I just, I have a really hard time with it, so I don't know why I keep trying it, but, um, but it, that said, I think they both came out okay, you know, and then we did this little dog. This one was fairly easy. I thought this one was going to be hard, um, but, and this one, again, I really just followed the instructions on here, on the card. Um, so I did this one first. I did this one second. Um, yeah, it, and what I did in the end was I took, um, I could find a, li a line maker or a micron, whatever it is, and I did some outlines. I did some outlines on the eyes. I did it around the nose, a little bit on the mouth, just to give it a little more, um, I don't know, detail, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think those two came out kind of good. This weird spot is kind of weird, but I wasn't sure. I didn't see the actual photo. I just saw this photo of the project. So, I mean, it's there. It just, but other than that, yeah, I think they both came out kind of cool. All right. And then this one, I thought this one was going to be the most difficult. I just thought, oh, and in part it was, I thought the cat was difficult, but all the rest of it was actually very easy. And I, um, although it didn't come out the way theirs did. Uh, that was the first, that was the second. This one I used tape around the edges and this one I just did the whole thing. Um, see, their yellow background is very light and I didn't do light. I should have done more light. Um, I think I started with a, like a medium color and then I had to add more dark. Uh, I had to use like a darker medium and then a dark, dark to, to get the values, uh, and I should have just, you know, done very light yellow, gone in easy, but, um, yeah, all in all, uh, they didn't come out bad. This one came out better. This is the one I used the ruler with, so I, I think that came out more, you know, accurate, um, and again, I used a marker, or a, a line maker, again, for detail, because watercolor is just so fluid you know it just I, I just needed to make the eyes a little more more precise so that you could actually actually that one could be a little bit more like that um and the nose because it was gray I think I just had a hard time I did this one a little bit lighter uh, so I must have done this one first actually because I did the dark one I forget how I did it I think I went back and forth. Uh, and I wanted to make the cat a little bit lighter in this one because it was supposed to be gray. The idea was to um, make it uh, make it dark here and make it lighter in the front so that as if it were looking out a window, it would be lighter here. So I tried to do it, but it just, I don't know, I just was having a hard time getting the paint to spread. Maybe I was using the wrong size brush. Um, I don't know, but I ended up adding um, some whiskers. I added darkness to the ears and a little bit of um, definition around the legs. But yeah, they came out okay. I, I When I was doing it, I thought this came out really good. And once I looked at the picture, I went, oh, it's really dark. But I don't know, I think that's something you have to practice. I did like how that came out. This one, more than this one. Uh, this one looks a little more splotchy, but. Yes, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what I did, which which one I did first. So that is the box of the four projects that I did. I did them, I did um, two a day. I did this, uh, I did one project two times each day. So it didn't take too long. Um, yeah, I like doing these. Every once in a while they come up with, like the last one I did was flowers. And I really like the colors. And of course, I had to pick this one because I love, you know, animals. So, um, yeah, maybe another one will come up at some point and I'll end up doing that one. But as, as for favorites, I don't know. 
this is my favorite just because it was so easy to do and I really like the colors. Um, but I like this cat. Yeah, I think the two, these two are probably my favorites. This is just the kind of thing I like to do. I like a portrait. I don't like to do a full body. I really just like to do a face for the most part. I like to be able to see the eyes, you know what I mean? So I guess those two are my favorites. You can, if you want to try these projects, you can go to letsmakeart.com and um, give them a try. You don't need to buy the whole thing. If you have paints you can work with at home, um, you can um, download the outlines. Yes, videos aren't out yet. I think they, do, they come out when you order the package, you get uh, access to the videos right away. But if you're just doing it by, you know, downloading, not getting a kit, then um, they do it like a weekly basis. So these are probably out in September, week by week. So, so anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.